Hello friends, this is our lecture number 9 in nanoscience and today we will discuss the density of states in 3D, 2D, 1D and 0 dimension. So density of state is defined as the number of available energy states uh, between energy E and E plus DE and it provides the information about how the energy states are distributed in a given sol solid and how close are the energy states and it is very important in the case of semiconductors and is typically denoted by GE in energy space and in K space it is denoted by GK and GK DK will tell the number of states between K and K plus DK per unit volume and usually we take this as in a reciprocal space light space K and K and E are correlated k space and e space are correlated using uh, e square equal to h square k square by 2m formula e equal to h square h uh, bar square k square by 2m so density of state in three dimension we will see that if we consider that electrons are confined in a crystal so crystal is a infinite potential well of dimension a and the Schrodinger wave equation can be solved for this and the energy values are given as e equal to h bar square k square by 2m and this uh, small if we take the small volume or uh, small uh, distance delta k as pi by a so the volume of the single quantum state if we take very small quantum state then this volume of this small quantum state is pi by a cube and the number of states in the range k, k and k plus dk, uh, we can consider it like a spherical shell. So it will be 4 pi k square into dk. And the number of electrons in the range k and this k and k plus dk uh, will be given as gk dk will be 4 pi k square dk uh, divided by volume pi by a cube into 2 one electron can uh, take two positions spin up and spin down and 1 by 8 is the total uh, we, we are taking one octant which is in positive uh, axis only uh, or positive value of kx ky and kz uh, so now we will have g k d k equal to pi k square dk by pi cube into a cube this pi by a, a will go in numerator and change we, we can change the k space into energy space using this relation k square equal to uh, 2me by h square because e, e was h square h bar square k square by 2m so we can uh, find here from here k square equal to 2me by h bar square or k equal to uh, 1 by h uh, bar under root 2me and if we take differentiation dk by de so dk by de will be 1 by h bar under root m by 2e because under root e differentiation will give uh, 1 by 2 e raised power minus half and it, this will be one written as 1 by h bar under root m by 2e de and if we put value of k square uh, this value and dk in this equation number 6 so now we will have uh, the this was in k space and now we can write it in uh, uh, ge uh, energy space so everything will be in uh, uh, in uh, e g e d equal to pi k square means this 2 m e by h bar square divided by pi q uh, into t k in place of d k we will write and 1 by h bar and root 2 m by 2 e de and if you put h bar equal to h by 2a and rear in the terms we will have 4 pi a cube by h cube and 2m to the power 3 by 2 under root e de and if this if we divide this per unit volume means it will divide by a cube so de de will be 4 pi 2m to the power 3 by 2 under root e by h cube so ge de or the uh, density of state is directly proportional to e raised to power half and if you plot this curve so in three dimension case 
there is uh, density of state curve uh, GE is directly proportional to uh, e raised power 1 by 2. Now we uh, calculate the density of state in two dimension. In two dimension case, we have only kx and ky because we don't uh, kz is not there. So it is confined in the circle. In that case, in three dimension, we have uh, taken the uh, as a spherical cell. Here we are taking it as a circle. So area will be only 2 uh, pi by a, pi by a here. So area will be pi by a whole square. And the states between k and k plus dk will be uh, gk dk. It is it will be and the total uh, here uh, area is 2 pi k. This shell is, uh, of circle 2 pi k dk into uh, again it is multiplied by 2 means spin up and spin down and 1 by 4 means only positive quadrant 1 by 4 is there and divided by the area pi by uh, a area of this circle pi by a whole square so now we have uh, this equation and again we have to put in uh, this equation in terms of e so now g k d k was this so now we can find out k square equal to 2 m e by h bar square k equal to 1 by h and root 2 m e and d k will be 1 by uh, h bar and root m by 2 e d e and if you put these values in uh, equation number 2 then g e d e will be a square 4 m pi by h square d e or from here we uh, we can find out g e equal to 4 uh, m 4 pi m by uh, h square uh, now it does not depend on the energy term so energy versus ge curve is a constant so this is uh, the for the two dimension case now we take the case of one dimension density of states so in the one dimension it is a wire or a line so only we have kx axis only and a small line element is pi by a and, and then length is pi by a and gk dk will be again it will be dk divided by the length pi by a into the two states are two means spin up and spin down and positive values will be given of by half of this uh, one line so if we put the uh, this the, uh, k value in uh, e space then gk dk can be changed in ge de by putting the value of dk here and uh, this will be a by pi these constants uh, and uh, here we will have uh, 1 by h bar and root m by 2e if we replace dk here and put h bar as equal to h by 2 pi and divide it for per unit length divided by l divided by means pi by a then it will give us g equal to 1 root 8 m by h square 1 by under root e so g e is directly proportional to e raised power minus half so if we plot e versus g e this is a curve like this decreasing exponent e raised power minus half exponential decreasing curve and now the density of state in zero dimension uh, is it is confined in all dimensions such as nanoparticles or quantum doors so uh, these are the in, uh, uh, zero dimension and in zero dimension case this uh, g e or density of state is dependent uh, only one value is there which is like delta function delta e minus e naught so we will have only one value or the unit value at e equal to e naught other values of energy this is zero so this is uh, for a zero dimension it will be like a um, direct delta function and it have single value will be there discrete value and we have we can summarize in three dimension case the inner uh, density of state it proportional to e raised power 1 by 2 here it is constant in two dimension case slab or thin film is there in one dimension case it is a wire in that case it is g directly proportional to e raised power minus half and in the case of zero dimension or some dot or very small particle is there uh, quantum dot then 
we have it, it is in a direct delta function which is denoted by delta e so it has a discrete value here so thanks for watching this video and please subscribe uh, if you are new to this channel and uh, in previous video we have discussed the particle in a box and in next video we will discuss the band theory of solid and the chronic penny model so thanks again see you soon